Hi guys, my name is Austin. Now here I'm going to show you three different traps. These are the traps I like to use on my trapping line. Right here, you have number two, number one, long spring. The reason I call it the long spring is because of this long spring, obviously. And uh, to set these traps, you squeeze down on this spring right here. Squeeze down nice and tight with your other hand. You pull apart the jaws. You start setting, you pull the jaws apart and it'll come right down. Right here is called the dog. Take this, set it underneath the notch of this pan. The pan comes up, and when you let go of it, sets good like that. <clears throat> These are great traps for uh, mink, muskrat, squirrel. Um, we've got some new animals around the house. These are great for that. <clears throat> now, when an animal has, usually you'll set along the bank, and you take your tight jaw, which is what your dog sets on, you put that up against the bank so the animal travels through the jaws so it doesn't throw it out of the trap. And now, when these traps go off, they seem kind of loud like they would hurt. They really don't. Um, it just gives a nice hole that holds them there until you get there. And on the end, here, you can put a drowning block. And drowns goes right down to the water and drowns them so it's a nice quick death. No pain and struggling. That's your long spring. The next trap I have for you guys here is called the coil spring. Now this is great for bigger animals. Right here is the number three. Um, right here, are the, I call these the wings. And then you got your two springs, your pan, and your dog. I set this, all right, I do it on my knee. One hand on each of the little wings there. You push down, and then you, with your thumbs, you push the jaws apart. Then you can usually hold it with one hand. You flip the dog up, push down on the jaws even more. Then you lift up your pan until your dog sits underneath your pan. And then you got your coil spring set just like that, nice and tight, ain't going nowhere, you can pack it down, great for coyote. Now these ones are a little bit more powerful. You can use them in the water for beaver, for a front foot. If you have, you can get even bigger coil springs for the back foot, because the back foot on a beaver is a lot bigger, and uh, usually needs a little bit more power. What I have right here is a 110 coil spring, or a 110 Conor bear. This conor bear is an instant killer trap. You squeeze down on the springs, squeeze apart the jaws, it usually holds nice. Then the dog has three notches in it. You can pick any notch. The notch usually depends on your current and how strong it needs to be. And it sets pretty nice. As you can see the triggers, I know it's kind of hard to see, that's why I put my hand up there. It usually sets real nice. Now this one has a nice snap to it. Now it usually breaks the back of the neck and they're dead instantly. With these traps here, they're great for muskrat, mink, um, squirrel, weasel. Um, a lot of trappers use them. Uh, the one thing I do have to say though is uh, a lot of people feel that trapping's not good, trapping's bad. And the reason I like to trap is I like to be outdoors. So if you like to be outdoors and you want to try this, there's a lot of different suppliers that you can get these traps from. You can get lures and you'll get videos you can find and it teaches a lot of how to trap. Um, I'll have more videos here on YouTube and show you guys some more different trapping techniques so uh, I'll see you guys later and the one phrase that I have to say that I live by is there's plenty of room for all God's creatures right next to the mashed potatoes have a nice day